Are you interested in finding rocks and minerals near you, but you don't know where to start? Here are some great resources for the beginner rock hound. First up is GatorGirlRocks.com. This site was created by a U.S.-based rock hound, and she includes information on all 50 states. I really appreciate her section on the rules and laws regarding rock hounding, which can be pretty confusing, so it's definitely worth taking a look at. The sections on each state have a lot of information. Some of it's just general information about the state's geology, there are lists of resources here, as well as sites you can rock hound. She doesn't give specific information about the location of most of these sites, so you're likely going to have to find that elsewhere. This next website, rockandmineralshows.com, is a useful resource for connecting you to local gem and mineral clubs and local rock shops. Gem and mineral clubs often host field trips to interesting rock hounding sites, and your local rock shop might be able to give you some information on rock hounding sites as well. If you're ready to dig a little deeper, I definitely recommend going to mindat.org. This site is useful for rock hounds around the world. You can search for specific towns or localities and figure out what kind of rocks and minerals are in that area. It can be a lot of information to wade through, but it's definitely one of the most comprehensive free resources out there. I find it really useful because I'm still learning a lot about geology, and I can use it to get more information about the rocks that I find. You can also look up the names of specific rocks and minerals and use the map feature to see where they're found. The maps don't always indicate if these sites are open to the public for rock hounding, so you'll have to cross-reference with other resources to figure that out. I haven't used these next couple of resources a whole lot, but they do look like they have some good information. Rockseeker.com has guides for all 50 U.S. states, but it doesn't have a lot of specific information about site locations. Rockhound Resource, on the other hand, has a lot of really specific information about where to collect rocks. However, some of these sites appear to be on lands that are normally illegal to collect on, such as tribal lands, so please do your research before you go out to any of these areas. And finally, my most favorite resources are my books. There are a lot of rock hounding guides out there for specific areas. I like this one from Falcon Guides for New Mexico. It was recently updated and it has a ton of great maps and is super user friendly. I hope this helps you on your rock hounding journey and please add any resources that you found useful in the comments.